it was amazing and then she gave me to give other people and they keep going crazy over here. <laughs> my jam heart family how you do now there is actually a fruit considered to be the largest in the passion fruit family it's called a giant grandadilla the giant grandadilla and guess what it's found right here in jamaica thanks to miss marlene we're gonna take a look at it we're gonna ex we're gonna talk about it uh, show you what it looks like, tastes like, but not just that, I'm going to share 10 powerful health benefits of this amazing fruit. I'm going to share that with you right now. First though, I should let you know that if you've not yet subscribed to this channel, I invite you now to join us. I'm on a journey to share what I call the real Jamaica, the real people of Jamaica, the real products of Jamaica, the essence of Jamaica, stuff like these, unusual fruits, medicinal herbs, you name it. I don't want you to miss any of that. So if you've not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you now. Hit that subscribe button and tap the bell notification and that way you see a piece of the normal latest video. Let's go! Alright guys, so this is a vine, almost like a rope you can see there running on the fence. This is the leaf, this is what it looks like, stem, and this is the fruit, the giant grandadilla. This one is a little bit green. This one here looks almost well ready. Ready and these are the folks. This is Mr. Kale, almost my namesake, I should say. And this is Miss Marlene. Hold it, hold it. We are good. Good, nice to meet you, Miss Marlene. By the way, guys, I've been bothering me, man. I tell her to be honest with you because she wanted me to capture this. And I'm, Miss Marlene, I want to tell you, I really appreciate you pushing me because I, re I really needed to eat just at the time. So thank you so much for persisting with me. Giant Grandidilla, what do you know of this fruit? Where did you get it from? Uh, Go ahead. I went to Cornwall Mountain and uh -huh. somebody gave it to me in Cornwall Mountain. Uh -huh. But every fruit I get, I try to set seeds from it. Uh -huh. And the person They're said... a fruit lover apparently. Yes, huh? yes. Okay. So I set the seed, I set some seeds uh -huh. and it, I see it started growing and uh -huh. I said, okay, let it stay there. Uh -huh. And I set it to the fence and put it and it to go up a tree. And uh -huh. It is here until... I didn't know the name of the fruit. Uh -huh. And somebody came one day and tell me the name and then Mr. Hale came and tell me he knows it uh -huh. and tell me the name. This is Mr. Hale of Mr. Mr. Hale here. Yes. Lovely, lovely. He told me the name and told me where he sit. Uh -huh. And then the person from where he sit in Carowina came one day and uh -huh. said he had it at his house uh -huh. or he still have it or uh -huh. something uh -huh. to that effect. Uh -huh. It can make a drink. Mm -hmm. We make drinks with it. Uh -huh. It can be eaten as just as uh -huh. and it's a tasty fruit. Okay. Very tasty. Very tasty. All right. Well, let me hear from Mr. Hale. What do you know about this fruit, sir? This this amazing fruit found right largest in the passion fruit family, I'm told. Well, we had it grown in the country, a place called Kentucky, not the chicken coop. It's a parish. <laughs> uh, it's a district in Westmoreland. Yes. But yes. it's growing the coffee work, but we didn't have any blend at the time. So we just pick it like a boy uh -huh. and we just eat the seeds. Uh -huh. I did not know that the outer fish could be eaten until Miss Merlin tell me. She blend it into drinks. Ah. So I said to her, what do you look like? Yeah, looks mad if you're dead with you. But she gave me some and uh -huh. we are still alive. And then when she gave me the flesh yeah. now, I gave it to some other friends and they eat it like they eat in papaya. Uh -huh. But I didn't know. And the amazing thing, when we smell it in the country, it smells just like radiant bee. So radiant so, bee? Radiant bee, where you use European. Yeah. And so it smells. I'm really wondering if any, it had anything to do with the manufacturing of radiant bee. So let me but ask this you. place uh -huh. is the fourth place I've seen it. So it's so it's so it's, it's so it has been in Jamaica, you think, for a while. Yeah, it's, but it's here, everyone, because it's, it's over fifty years. When I'm telling you that oh. we had it in the country, uh -huh. so when I came to Carowind and I saw somebody had it, mm -hmm. and that was amazing. And then I went to a forestry and uh, nature walk, uh -huh. and I saw it, but we didn't got time to explore the vine yeah. if it had. So when I saw Miss. Merlin near had it. Yeah. It was amazing because yeah. it was the first time and then at the first we see beer so much. All right. So I was just joking to her and telling her the fruit is a thing. Uh. When the more you give it away, the more it's beer. Yeah. But when I looked at it now, it's beer mostly to the end of the vine. Yeah. But even though it's well ripe, uh -huh. it is best you cut it because the stem is very strong. I realize. And this section is very delicate. Uh-huh. 
It's very delicate, uh, even though whiskey. you squeeze it. All right, so let's... It, and it's very delicate. So let's explore. Oh, all right. So it's, it's almost like the black supporty guy is soft. The supporty, yes, yes soft. Yes. Yes. Even though it's look like that, but it's very delicate. It's, but, it's, but the stem is very tough. <laughs> yeah, man. It's very, it's very, even though it's ripe, it's very strong. Mm. All right. So, so And it's amazing. It's when you, I use this with cherries and pineapples and mm. passion, it's amazing. You go crazy for it. All right. So I'm going to help. I'm going to ask you now to help me. Marlene, no. we're gonna cut it and, and show my audience what it looks like. These are some more, some more guys. These are more, it's about five of them here. They're, they're huge, huge stuff. All right, so, so that's how you normally cut it sideways. I cut it like this. Okay. Cut All right. So I reach into the side, uh -huh. like a passion. Yeah. But the seeds are very big uh -huh. and glammy. Uh -huh. So you put this into the blender, you blend it. Every, but so hold on, when you say you put this in the blender, you mean every, you, you put the oh, seeds, you put the seeds. Uh -huh. Oh, the different, seed. oh, different flavor drinks. Uh -huh. You put the seed in, mm -hmm. but some people combine the blending of the seeds mm -hmm. with the outer course. But for me, uh -huh. inside it tastes great. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the seed. It. Yes, man. Well, we're gonna have a taste. All right, so let me hear from Miss. It can Marley. be eaten just like this, man. Okay. How do you eat, how do you have it, Miss Marley? I I use it to make a drink, mm -hmm. and I have persons that I have a friend in Bethel uh -huh. When she get it, she say. I'm going to slice it up now. Yeah. Uh -huh. So she slices it and have it like this. Ah, uh -huh. ah, nice. All right, we're you gonna we're gonna have a look. What does it What does it taste like? Lovely. Well, tell, give me give me audience. Tell them, man. Tell them, is it like like apple, like banana, like melon? Tastes better than compare. Yeah. Compare the taste. I can't compare the taste. It has <laughs> a you, unique, unique it has taste. A unique taste. I'm gonna have a taste. I'm gonna have a taste. And then we take it we take it from there so you so you just you eat exceptional you, you eat mainly the or you eat you everything see, it, it, everything can you, be eaten. you eat everything everything can be eaten. okay okay cool because cool. it's it's Except spash, this, this like is a hard this is a hard section uh-huh all right cool all right well i'm gonna have a taste guys and see what is <laughs> what is it for me now yeah being a man me the seed man yeah me so the most stick to the seed. Okay, okay. Just a meal thing. All right. <laughs> All right, but just, but it's entire entire part of it can can be eaten. Yeah, man. The entire part can be eaten yeah. like you eat papaya. And okay, stuff. cool. Nice. All right. That, nice, nice, nice. It have a, a slightly sweetly taste. Uh huh. But when you blend it uh -huh. and combine it like a nice up your country style carrot yeah. juice, yeah, it's good. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I'm gonna have a taste, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> you uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the flesh is a little bit spongy. Spongy, yes. It's very spongy. Because this one is well ripe. Well ripe, okay. That's it. And this is the seed, just like passion fruit. That's it. But it's a little more fluffier than the passion. Yes. And the seed is a kind of flower. Yes. You love the seed. <laughs> That's a man thing. <laughs> Alright. How does it taste? Very succulent. Right. And then these are. Oh. But this piece though, it's hard to eat. That, that piece. That mega piece kind of like a... We take out that part. Yeah, almost like a sponge. Yes. You take out this piece. You take out that part. Okay, okay. This piece now is a little bit milder. Yes. Almost like cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, kind of like a faint... That's it's not too a sweet. right description. Yes, yeah. that's... The flesh yes, with yes. cantaloupe. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. And it's amazingly nutritious. Um, Miss Guy, Miss... Miss Marlene and Mr. Hale probably didn't know. I did some research. I'm going to share some of that information with you and them right now. So this amazing fruit here, guys, this, we call it the giant grandadilla. The scientific name is also on screen. You can research it a little, a little more. It's Passiflora quadrangularis. I hope I said it correctly. That's the scientific name. If you're in some other part of the world and you need to research it further, it's a one-of-a-kind fruit, the one, the largest in the passion fruit family. It is native to South America, they say, but also grown in tropical regions, including Jamaica, Venezuela, the, well, the Caribbean in general, Brazil, Colombia, those places. It can grow up to 30 centimeters in 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 in, in length and weigh up to two and a half kg. That's over five pounds, they say. Uh, it can. It can go the distance. Nutritionally, it is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin K, as well as pot potassium and fiber, making it a great addition to a healthy diet. Culinary, the pulp that we had earlier is, 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 is used to make juice, jams, and other sweet treats. 
The seeds can also be roasted and eaten as a snack. Did you know that, Miss? No. Roast the seed? Yeah, man, they roast the seed and have it as a snack. Medicinally, um, traditionally, it's used in herbal medicine to treat ailments such as respiratory issues, anxiety, digestive issues. And there are some researchers also to that it might have antioxidant and anti inflammatory properties. You sit down for a gold mine here, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. But listen, top 10 health benefits. I want to share that with, with, with my audience, with you right now, guys. 10, count with me. Number one, it is rich in antioxidant we mentioned earlier the fruit is a good source of antioxidants which can help to protect against cellular damage and lower the risk of chronic diseases number two the boost immunity high level of vitamin c which i mentioned earlier it has extremely high level of vitamin c by the way and it helps to strengthen the immune system and fight off infections number three digestive health good source of dietary fiber which can promote healthy digestion and pre prevents constipation. Number four, promotes healthy heart. The fruit is low in fat and sodium and contains potassium, which can also lower blood pressure and reduce the risk of heart disease. Number five, regulates blood, pressure, blood sugar levels, the diabetes. The fiber content can help slow down the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream which can help to regulate blood sugar levels no, that's five did you know any of this yet guys you're not not quite all right well i keep going number six you have vision problems this fruit can possibly help it's rich in vitamin a which is essential for healthy vision and help prevent age related vision loss i'm gonna need some of that i hear some whispering in the background there somebody going to use it for, for all right Reduce inflammation, number seven. Studies suggest that the fruit may have anti-inflammatory properties which help reduce inflammation in the body and lower the risk of chronic diseases. Again, supports bone health. The fruit is a good source of calcium and phosphorus which are important minerals for maintaining healthy bones. Number nine, promotes skin health. High levels of vitamin C found in the fruit can help promote healthy skin and prevent anti-aging. Those of you who are a fanatic of of health and beauty and so know how important vitamin c is to the skin health anti-aging so it's, it's this fruit again can help and number 10 the big one may have anti-cancer properties so some research suggests that the fruit may have anti-cancer properties due to its high antioxidant content so overall incorporating this fruit in your diet can offer immense health benefits lady and gentleman what do you have to say miss marlene and mr mr hale mm. i i like the fruit uh. <laughs> <laughs> i like the fruit when i got it first yeah. i you know was reluctant but after i use it mm -hmm. i come to like it and i have quite a few persons mm -hmm. who going crazy, right? going crazy over it oh I send, I give Mr. Hill one to give a lady mm -hmm. and she want to know where you get it from? Mm -hmm. I want more. <laughs> you want she, more. she inquire for more. Yeah. So as, as I said, I told him when more is there, she can get more. Awesome. But you know, I give it. And the more you give, as Mr. Hill said, the more you get, Mr. Hill. The more you <laughs> the more you give it. The more, is it for me? Yeah. The, the drink is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am just satisfied to drink. I'm a drink person. Natural uh -huh. drinks, uh -huh. no additive, no preservative. Uh -huh. Plus the health benefit mm -hmm. that I understand that can be derived from the fruit. Yeah. And it's great for me to do drinks. How do you make but a drink? I'm I good. I combine this like with passion. Uh -huh. I like with cherry. Uh -huh. I like with pineapple. Uh -huh. And anything you put it with natural fruit, uh -huh. it is great. I like the flavor. Ginger. I, you put ginger. ginger I yes. just put a little bit of ginger, ginger. just not for burning, yeah. but just for flavor. And it enhanced the flavor. Yeah. When I took it to church, like yeah. I go to an adventure center, when I took it to church, everybody cook. where you get this? Where you get this? <laughs> Bring me more. <laughs> you know? Are and you? they know this is the fourth place I've seen it, but it is the most fruit I've seen it. Yes. Yeah, because this one has quite a lot, guys. Yes, I man, show it you. bears more. Okay. And then what I notice about this fruit, it seems like it do well in human habitat. Oh. Because some fruit, and it grows in all weather because the place where I saw it yeah. first, mm. it's very cool. Oh. And down here, it's very hot right. and humid. Yeah. And it still strives. Yes, yes, So yes. this is a fruit of all around yes. in the environment. Yes, yeah. yes. Love it, love it, love yes, it, man. love it. I have and some questions. 
have some questions guys some of you have have had some questions i did some some research as well and i know there are some questions i'm gonna ask these these um humble folks here what based on their local knowledge um of the fruit and see if they can answer some of the questions uh well i think first one i had was what does it taste like i think we answered that earlier mm -hmm. i answered that it's, it depends it's the seed the seed have a taste and then the flesh itself have a, oh, another kind of taste tea, yeah. in my estimation the, the flesh tastes more like cantaloupe you know mm -hmm. the seed that's i don't that, i would second that motion i would second that yes okay the, the, the cantaloupe the taste cantaloupe. with the seed yes kind mm -hmm. of saint yeah how long does it take for the the grand this giant grand the grand dilla to bear fruit it all depends on the maturity of the vine, you know, uh -huh. and the location. The maturity of the vine and its location. Mm -hmm. But when it's at bearing, uh -huh. the fruit takes about like four or five weeks. More than. More, more than, than four. More than, more than four or five yes. weeks. Or three more months. Mature. It takes less than three months. Oh, okay. To mature. Okay. Yeah. After it, after it beer. After it beer. Oh. It but when it starts ripening, uh -huh. it goes far. It ripens very, ripe very fast. Oh, okay. Because okay. Because last week there weren't no ripe ones. Uh huh. And then. Then less than seven days. You can. Yeah, you just yeah, just change. Yesterday yeah. only two ripe ones were there. Uh -huh. And I woke up this morning. Really and nice. and I see all of these. And I, I, I yes, pick and give away since morning. Oh, bless you, bless you, bless you. And this is this is what is still here. Yes. Uh there's another question somebody asks. Can you? Can you chew granadilla seeds? Well, you can chew it. We eat it, right? Yes. That's what I do. Yes. I mean, if, mm -hmm. if you choose to, ch to chew it, you can chew it as well. And we also learn that the, the fibers come in. Yes, yes, yes. The seeds, the, the fibers. Seed. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, there's another question somebody had. Can diabetics eat granadilla? The answer is clear. Yes. Because yes. it's not high in sugar content. Yes, it's not yes. High, it's not high in sugar content. Actually, and we mentioned earlier the health benefits that it may help to, to control diabetes. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So there you go. What is the lifespan of the granadilla? Do you know how long? No. You don't know how long this is. All right, somebody, one of you guys who are watching now, help me know. We've been we're sharing a lot of information. Now it's your time. Number one, hit, hit the like button right now if you're getting any value from this. Two, share the video with somebody. That's have an option. But I also want you now to tell us what you know about this fruit. How long, if you know, if you're watching and you know something about it, tell us what you know, man, in the comments. How long, what is the lifespan of this granadilla fruit? Right? Two years now. You said you think uh, it's, it's two years. Two years she had it for two years. Two years now. You have it two years. Two years. The same vine. The same vine. But like for me in the country, yeah. it's a continual thing like three, four, five, six, seven years. Okay. But where mm -hmm. I where I where I answer the household for me. Where I saw it uh -huh. in Cornwall Mountain. Uh -huh. It is there all along. Uh -huh. All along it is it is at Cornwall Mountain. Oh, oh but you, you think it's it, the same vine or it would be different vine? Oh. I don't know. Okay. I don't know because it's like a hilly terrain. Uh -huh. And then you see the you see the plants. Mm -hmm. The plants are there. Okay, okay. So I don't know. Okay. Because okay. the first time I saw it, it was so low and I said to them, What is this? And they told me. Yes, yes. And I said, Can I get one? And they say I have to wait until it is ripe. Yes, yes. So yes. it's after it it ripe now. Mm -hmm. They give it to me. They send it they give it to me and may come and try. It. Yes, yes, yes. So cool, cool. But cool. I have to set seeds from anything I eat. Yep. You know, it's amazing. Seeds. There's so many so many fruits and natural stuff that we have here and a lot of people still don't still realize. Don't it, you know? Yes. You know? Yes. Man, man. So people right now are probably asking you know, people continue to ask you for the fruit and stuff. Yes. But you want the fruit and the seeds, the yes, plant. Yes. When when we when we got this in the country, mm -hmm. when I was a boy, yeah, we did not know. We didn't pay much attention to it, but as you know, kids all over, yeah. we see this looking fruit and it's look edible. Yeah. Uh, but I just see it would pay attention to. Yeah. And it was only get exposure. Yeah. More when I saw Miss Patrick, oh, Miss Merlin with it. Yes. And yes. then she gave me one, and man, it was amazing. And then she gave me to give other people, and they keep going crazy overhead. <laughs> And we keep coming back and I encourage you, give it away, it'd be a moral. Definitely. I, I, I second that. Any, anything we give away, you, you can It come back to you. One of these fruit is to go to Trelawney to a nurse uh -huh. who, she knew it uh -huh. when she was a child in Darlistan. Oh. And she said she hasn't seen it. In a long time. In a long time. So it's been here for a long time. It's, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma it's something here beyond 50 oh. years back. Probably, probably, so probably before, ma'am. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So I gave it to an, a doctor. Uh -huh. And she took it to Kingston and her friends from Trinidad said they know it from Trinidad mm -hmm. and told her how to prepare it. Okay, cool, cool. So I have, you know, actually, mentioning, we mentioned Trinidad. Some of you guys are, are from other Caribbean islands. I want to hear, if you know about this fruit, what do you know about it? And, uh, and if you use it, how do you use it? We want to hear from you as well. So share that, share that in the comments as well. There's another piece of information I wanted to share just before we, we close. It says, 
The pulp is used as a mild sedative to help relieve from maladies like headache, nervousness, diarrhea, asthma, neurosensia, insomnia, and dysentery. Right? So that's just just as we read along and research more, we just get keep getting more information about this amazing fruit here. Miss Marlene, if persons are interested in finding out more about it, perhaps to get the seed, would you be willing to give them the information or you kind of just leave it? If, if I have, if it is here, uh -huh. I'm willing to share. You're willing to share? I'm willing to share. Okay, okay. I'm willing to share. If some person are interested, they can, they they can reach out to they you. They can and, reach out to and, and, and get And, and to get more information and stuff, yes. the seeds or whatever it is. Yes. Is there a contact they could reach you at? Um, four eight eight five four five seven. Four eight eight five five four, eight. Five, four five seven. And I want to say thank you, Miss Marlene, again for your patience and tolerance with me. Thank you, you Mr. Hale. Mr. Hale. I and welcome, and nice having you. <laughs> thank you for the information, man, and for sharing your expertise, experience, and knowledge of this amazing fruit. Another one, unusual fruit in Jamaica, guys. The giant grandadilla. Okay, guys, so before we run, before we run, guys, Miss Miss Marlene have something to say. Yes, Miss Marlene. Yes, on behalf of us here uh -huh. and this fruit uh -huh. that we want everyone to know about. Yes. We, I would like to give you a fruit. Oh, thank you. That is, thank you, you can share with others. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, endeavor. thank you, thank you, yes. thank you, thank you. No, thank you so much. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you so, so much. Gale, yes, sir. I'm encouraging Miss Marlene. Uh -huh. We're going to set some seeds. Yes. When you get in touch with her number, yeah. she will tell her if it's available for you to come and get the plants. Yeah. We're going to populate the place with this is amazing. Yes. Food. Because it helps too. Yes. Yeah, it's, man. We, it has health benefit. Yes. So we're going to share the knowledge. Yes, yes. Less sickness and disease. Out. Less oh, problems. Yes. Less sickness. Less people at the yes. hospital. I know the health minister will love that. <laughs> yes. All right, lovely, yes, lovely. Yeah, yeah, man. And man. it's in Petersil Shoeberry, West Poland. All right, it's an amazing. All right, so, love it, love it, love it, love it. That's it, guys. The giant Grandidilla. Man, someone right here in Jamaica. Can you believe it? Anyway, what do you make of it? Have you seen the flowers? You see how beautiful that was? Jeez. Wow. God is good. Anyway, have you seen it? Do you know about it? Have you have you used it? How do you use it? Tell me. Put it in the comments. There's another video I needed to see. The dragon fruit. Found right here in Jamaica as well. Another unusual fruit. In fact, there's an entire playlist on unusual Jamaican fruits. I needed to see. It's in the description. But the dragon fruit, I need you to see as well. It's in the, in the description and it's in the, in the card above. See you in that one. <laughs>